Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for October-November 2022. You are supplied with the following source files. We have the files here. First task is to prepare the evidence document. You have to open the evidence document and make sure your name, center number and candidate number are appearing on every page. So this is the evidence document. Go to insert in the header. You can give your candidate details, your name, center number and candidate number. And it should be saved as N22 evidence followed by your candidate number. So you need to save it inside your folder. Save as. followed by your candidate number and save as a word document since we are using Microsoft Word. Next task to document open the file regatta.rtf the page setup is A4 and landscape with 2 cm margin do not make any changes three paragraph styles are already created save the document in your work area in the format of the software with the name sailing so this is the file let's save save as the name is sailing and we need to save in the format of the software we are using that is word document take a screenshot to show this file has been saved so this is the file Make sure the file type is completely visible. You can take a screenshot. Of your working folder that will be your evidence one. Next step place write a line in the header the text sailing instructions. So in this file, go to insert header. You can choose blank three columns so that the alignment will be proper. Right aligned, we have to type the text sailing instructions. On a new line, you have to add your name, center number and candidate number. Make sure it is on the right side. Place in the footer automated page numbers center aligned. So in the header we don't have anything in the center or left you can remove this text then go to footer we have to give the page number center aligned so in the center let's remove let's insert page number in the current position Make sure header is right aligned, footer is center aligned and no other text is shown. Next create the following paragraph style basing it on the default paragraph style. So we need to create a new style. So click on the scroll bar on home tab you have styles here you click you can see create a style. Click on create a style and then we need to add TSR subhead that is the name of the style TSR subhead click on modify it should be based on the default paragraph style so style based on you need to make it normal which is the paragraph style the phone style is serif size is 18 center aligned so serif 
Times New Roman. The size is 18, center aligned, italic underline, italic underline, and the line spacing is single and the paragraph spacing is zero points before and four after. So to set the spacing, go to format, paragraph, single line spacing, zero and four. Take a screenshot evidence to show the settings. So let's take a screenshot. Now you can give OK and OK. Now since my cursor was here, the style is applied to the first paragraph. Let's bring it back to normal. Now let's paste it, paste the screenshot here as evidence too. Next one, at the start of the document, enter on a new line, Tavara Sailing Regatta. So here, insert a new line and you have to type Tavara Sailing Regatta. Apply the TSR title paragraph style. So select this text, TSR title is given here. You need to apply the style. Now modify TSR title paragraph style so only the following formatting is applied. So right click, modify, we need to apply only these styles. It should be serif 30, so times new roman, the size is 30. Type 30 and press enter. Central line, bold, italic. Central line, bold and italic. So you need to remove the underline because only these styles should be applied. Single, zero and zero. So go to format, paragraph, make it single. The spacing is 0 and 0 before and after. Take a screenshot evidence of the modified settings. Give OK and then OK. So the settings is applied to the title here. This is the evidence 3. Next select subheading schedule and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending protest committee are final. So let's find this paragraph. The subheading schedule is given here. We need to find the paragraph. So for that you can click on find and then type the so this is the paragraph where we have to s so from schedule from schedule till this paragraph we have to select. Do not select the last paragraph and you need to change the layout so that it is displayed in two columns of equal width with a 1.5 centimeter. So click on layout you have columns more columns you need to select two columns and the spacing must be 1.5 and it's already equal column width. Give OK. Next, apply bullets to the text from overall team till 2003 or later. So 
so these are the text uh, from overall team till 2003 or later select this text you can go to bullets apply bullets make sure that the bullets are intended by one centimeter from the left margin the list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line so let's select the list right click paragraph so here you can see the indentation before text means left on the left side let's give one centimeter and it should be single line spacing with no spacing before or after so you give zero here and zero here give ok there is a six point space after the last item in the list so select the last item right click paragraph give six point space after only for the last item identify the six hub headings and apply the TSR subhead paragraph style so the six hub headings schedule racing safety prices on the water penalties and protests so these are the six subheadings we have to apply TSR subhead style so this is the subhead style next import the image flag.png and place it in the paragraph beginning at the start of each race so this is the paragraph at the start of each race keep your cursor here go to insert pictures open your folder this flag image insert so this is the image reflect the image so that the flag is on the right so select the image on picture format you can see the option for flipping so flip horizontal format the image so that it is resized to a width of 2.5 centimeters with aspect ratio maintained so right click on the image size and position the width should be 2.5 centimeter and make sure aspect ratio is locked give ok it is aligned to the right of the column and top of the paragraph starting uh, at the start of each race the text wraps around each image for these two steps we can apply text wrap so select the image wrap text set it as square so now the text is wrapping around now you need to write a line so align it in this way so that the image boundary is along with the paragraph next locate the table in the document format the table so that it looks like this so this is the table here select the table let's apply the grid line so that it's easy to understand the row and columns so select the table you can see here borders give all borders now in the first column you need to merge this so select this and merge merge cells and the text should be vertical so right click text direction make it vertical give ok and it should be center aligned go to layout give central line this way and there is a gray shading so let's give a gray shading here on home tab click on the fill option and give gray shading you can see these cells are merged here 
So let's merge those cells. Right click, merge cells. And make sure it is in the middle. So for that go to layout. This is the table layout. Make it in the middle. Make sure that text displays on one line in columns 2, 3 and 4. So all the text should be on one line. Here you can see it is showing on two lines. So for that select the table, right click, auto fit, auto fit to contents. So now all the text is on one line. table borders and all data fit within the column width one point black internal and external grid lines are displayed we have already shown the grid lines but let's give one point so select this on borders and shading we have given all grid lines make sure the width is one point give ok the TSR table paragraph style applied to columns 2, 3 and 4 has not been changed. So make sure the table style is applied to 2, 3 and 4. It is already applied. There is a 6 point space after the table. So to give a space after the table, we will give a space before this paragraph. So select this paragraph, right click paragraph before you give six points so that there will be a spacing after the table. Spell check and proofread the document make sure that the table and list are not split over columns. So we have to just check the spelling. Go to review spelling and grammar. So we need to check the spelling only check the click on spelling so this is the only word which is shown here this is acceptable no need to correct now grammar you can ignore so the spelling and spelling check is done next make sure the table and list are not split over columns or pages so you can see the table is not split and the list is also not split. Make sure there are no widows or orphans. So make sure uh, there are no widows and orphans. Select all text. Right click. Paragraph. Line and page breaks. Make sure widow orphan control is set. Next. There are no blank pages. Paragraph styles have been applied and there is a six point space after the table and the list. So after the table and the list we have already given and all these styles are applied. Save the document and print the document. So this document needs to be printed. Next task is the database task which will be done in another video. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.